home I am Roller Archer. This is Devin, aka Dominican Urkel from Kamikazes once again. <laughs> did I do that once again? Yes, I did. And you may be wondering, what the hell are you going on? I know I'm cheesy, but I'm having a good time because today's video is all about Green Arrow. And it's going to be about my top five moments, my review and general thoughts of things I liked and disliked throughout the episode. So let's shoot right on into it. And spoiler warnings for the people who haven't seen the episode just yet, which is insane because I'm late on my video due to my wisdom teeth getting pulled, like I said in my last video. And also, you guys should definitely check that out, so the link will be up there. It's my flash review and top five moments, so go check that out. But, spoiler warnings for the people who haven't seen the episode just yet, I'll give you a moment to skip ahead to the video so you haven't ruined anything for yourself. So here's a few seconds for you, alright? Next up, my top 5 moments of the episode. And now here are the top 5 moments of Arrow Season 4, Episode 3, Restoration. Five. Five. Moment number 5, OG Team Arrow. The original Team Arrow is back in action and kicking ass and taking names, just like the good old days. Four. Moment number four, Mr. Terrific knows Felicity is down with Green Arrow, and he's working on the prototype T-Spheres. Awesome! Three. three. Moment number three, meet Double Down. I was really digging our bad guy of the episode, Double Down, because he's played by J.R. Bourne, who is a great actor and plays Chris Argent on Teen Wolf, which is another one of my favorite shows. And just to see him go from Teen Wolf, to arrow and be a badass with the playing cards oh they were sick just made the episode that much better for me two two moment number two damien dark mentions project genesis and phase three i wonder what that means one one moment number one sarah lance is brought back to life by the lazarus pit so i definitely wasn't expecting that um with sarah being brought back to life by the lazarus pit so soon Especially, you know, when she's missing something like her soul, which isn't that important, obviously, because it's not stopping her from going on a massive rampage and trying to kill everyone in sight. Like, she was bugging. She was like <laughs> like a caged animal. She was out of her damn mind. But, you know, it's interesting to see because I thought she was going to be brought back to life with the helps of John Constantine. And i guess i was wrong but now we know why john constantine will be needed because he's gonna have to put that soul back in that crazy chick's body and make her sane again because we saw her in legends of tomorrow look perfectly fine and sane and now we have her and she's crazy fucking like she's buck wild like so he has to get her from this from here to here but just two more episodes till we see constantine so I'm excited for that and I hope Constantine isn't just a one episode character. Hopefully he'll become like, you know, a guest star. Like he'll appear in more episodes or even a regular. That'd be fantastic to have John Constantine be a part of the Arrow universe and just make it bigger with mysticism and introduce characters like Zatanna and, you know, Justice League Dark or whatever, which is exciting. But this episode was really good. It was a nice, solid episode. It remind it gave off a vibe of like Arrow season one and two where it was just fun characters, you know, fun action packed and all the stuff that you loved with comedic humor. Like Felicity was old, like we got old Felicity back where she was cracking jokes saying like, this is OG Team Arrow, the original gangsters. And then she pulled out a submachine gun and was like, gratata, gratata. I was like, oh, I see you girl, do your thing. Like it just made me miss that character Felicity. I'm happy that we're going to be getting her back. And then finally, like about time, Diggle and Oliver made up. Like I was tired of watching Guardian and Green Arrow freaking bicker. I wanted to see them bromance, not beef. That's like, it was whack to me. So I'm happy that they're good now. Sorry, something on my nose. And Mr. Terrific, okay, Curtis Holt finally knows Felicity works with the Green Arrow, but he doesn't know who the Green Arrow is. Now, we saw in the Scissor Reel trailer that he was, like, looking at Ollie, like, nah, the jaw is not right. But how dumb is he going to feel when he finds out the Green Arrow is Oliver? And another thing is, too, is we saw him working on the T-Spheres, like, the prototype versions, and I was so happy. Like, I jumped for joy, but quickly that stopped real quick because... Like, that was the day I got my wisdom teeth pulled. So I was still, like, swollen and in pain. So I was like, yeah, 
and came right back down. I was my teeth, my mouth was not having that. It was like, sit your butt down, boy. You in pain, and it hurt, but it was so worth it. And our villain, Double Down, like I was saying before, is played by J.R. Bourne, who you guys may also know as Chris Argent on Teen Wolf, and he's a badass on Teen Wolf. And he was a badass on Arrow, especially throwing the playing cards that were from his skin, stopping, you know, Green Arrow's arrows like they weren't doing nothing to them. So it was crazy to see that. Um, it was pretty intense. And I had a lot of fun watching because, you know, him on on Teen Wolf, he got a machine gun, he hunts things, this, he was just throwing everything. So he's always he always got projectiles on him. But Damien Dark as well. Sorry, I had like something there. Damien Dark, though, like, released some information about his grand plan, maybe. You know, what's Project Genesis and what is, are they in phase three of it? I wonder what that is and what it's gonna have in store for the Arrow universe and what, you know, the Team Arrow's gonna have to do to stop it. Also, I wonder when are we gonna see more members of the Hive? Like, is it just Damien Dark and some people, or is it other big names and possibly season five villains? Like, you know, things that we want to know and find out. And how is Hive, you know, when are we going to find out? When is it going to tie to Andrew Diggle's death? Where we get, you know, Diggle's story arc to redeem himself for his family and find out why Andrew Diggle got killed. Now, the gripes of the episode were, I didn't like that. Uh, I knew Double Down was going to be like a one and out character, like one episode and be done. But I don't know. I just didn't like that. Every bad guy's working for Hive. Like, let's, you know, set up just a bad guy. I want to be a bad guy for some reason. I don't know. And I didn't like that. I still don't like that Captain Lance is working with Damien Dark. Because, dude, we've been with you for four seasons now. And now you're working with the bad guy? And how long? Like, we have, they have to explain how long he's been working with Damien Dark. And things we'll all find out eventually. But... I'm just super excited for it for the episodes where we're gonna be getting Constantine and then eventually, you know, Sarah dressed up as the Black Canary with Laurel as the Black Canary fighting. That's gonna be intense. Those are things I really wanna see. But that's it for me today. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it so much. Also, check out our latest videos if you haven't already. They'll be up top there. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like I said, much appreciated. But since that's it for me today, I'm going to shoot on out of here. So I'll catch you guys next time when you come to your favorite go-to herd for all things nerd. I am the Green Arrow.